Thank you, everybody. I'm here to share with you how Hemings House has used the process of making documentary films to actually accelerate social movements, especially social movements where community members, influencers, and stakeholders actually get engaged in the storytelling process during the production phase of the film itself. My company has been producing television shows and documentaries and commercials and short films for over a decade now. And the projects that really touch our hearts and the ones that really activate our imagination and our passion are the projects that actually we've been seeing measurable impacts and measurable changes in the communities that we work in. Although we still make TV series all around the world, we still do other documentaries and, and commercial work, we've really started to focus all of our efforts into creating content that is not only going to educate and entertain, but it's going to inspire and empower positive action. The first film that we produced that really started to, to get us onto this trip was Sistema Revolution. And Sistema Revolution is a story that followed a really passionate group of leaders from the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra. Now, the executive leadership had a challenge, and the challenge was how do we make classical music education more accessible and inclusive to all socio demographics. When uh, Ken McLeod, the president and CEO of the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra, was telling me about this, I thought it was a very noble gesture to say, you know what, the gift of music should be available for all children. So throughout some of the research that Ken and his team did, they found an incredible program in Venezuela, in Caracas, called El Sistema. Has anybody heard of El Sistema? In, uh, okay, so this program has been transforming the lives of over half a million kids in Venezuela every single day after school for free. So kids are learning this incredible skill set of classical music and they don't have to pay a penny for it. And these are kids from the barrios and the ghettos of Caracas and uh, also from the rural areas around Caracas. And like I said, half a million kids. So not only is this transforming kids in neighborhoods and barrios, it's actually changing Venezuela. So this is a really incredible program. Now, Ken and the other executive leadership of the orchestra really saw this as an opportunity for New Brunswick. Like, I wonder if we could take a program like that in Venezuela and bring it and see if we can integrate it back home in Canada. It sounded like a good idea, of course, but it really took him a long time to get people on board with the vision. He really wanted to create a social movement that would say, you know what, we can do this back home in New Brunswick. If Venezuela did it, there's no reason why we can't do it. We do have the resources to, to create an environment where kids can be inspired this way. The problem he had, though, was he was competing against so many other challenging social issues that we have back home. Uh, we've got a very struggling economy. We've got issues of uh, childhood obesity, adult illiteracy. We even have issues of basic housing and food. Uh, so where a classical music education program can fit in that, in that line of priorities, it's a tough pitch unless people can actually see the benefits uh, in person. So when Ken and the team were telling me about this challenge, they also said that you know, after two years of pitching this concept, we need to go down to Venezuela and see this amazing program with our own eyes. And I said, I'm coming. <laughs> so my team and I hopped onto uh, an airplane. We wanted to invest in this to help Ken and the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra uh, figure out how to get the, the greater community of New Brunswick on board and sold into this idea. And as documentary filmmakers, we really understand the power of film to allow people to see something first so that they can then feel, there goes the microphone, and once they feel, they can actually act, go towards positive social action. So I said, why don't we come down and we will document some of what you guys learn, and then that'll be used as a tool for when you come back to see if we can get this movement moving. So I'm just gonna show you a couple clips of what we brought home, so you can see for your own eyes some of what we saw in Venezuela.
de la misma manera que lo hicieron en algún momento conmigo. El sistema, ¿qué puedo decir del sistema? El sistema es como una casa, pues. Es el sitio donde uno viene, es como otra familia. Sistema is for everyone. No child is turned away. The founder of El Sistema is a gentleman named Jose Abreu, and uh, he's very famous for his quote, which says, once a child learns an instrument, he or she is no longer poor. And what we were able to see was the direct results of that sentiment. We were able to see kids with a burning passion and kids with a talent that uh, you wouldn't expect in the barrios of Caracas, Venezuela. Uh, this is what really engaged the leadership of the New Brunswick Youth Orchestra when they were down there seeing this. But the true impact of the decision for us to take a film crew down to film some of this happened not necessarily in shooting the kids and the incredible music they were making, but in filming the actual conversations that Ken and his team had every single day after seeing all these incredible scenes. So we were able to capture conversations, they were open to us uh, filming the dialogues and their feelings about what they saw and their hopes on camera. And I'm just going to show you one particular conversation that we captured on camera that I truly believe was the pivot point where they took this idea, which was a dream, it was a vision, into something that was actually uh, actionable and something that was actually going to happen. So this conversation that we're going to see here, I feel was the magic of us going down as a film team. is for everybody. Mm -hmm. So these kids are from, you know, unspeakable poverty and they're performing beautiful music. At a so, very high level. That's right. So, yeah, so, yeah. so great so, art is for everybody. So it's a matter of opportunity. And I, I think uh, the program could start right away. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be just kind of interesting if we said right now, we're going to start in September, this September, not the following September. Yeah. Can, we, can we start in September? What, I mean, what's the feeling behind that? What would it take to do that? So we all know that stating an intention to a community or to another person is incredibly motivating to actually make something happen. And when we just happen to capture that on camera, it becomes that much more sticky. So this footage was put together into a five minute piece. We came home and the leadership of the orchestra used it to allow other people, other stakeholders in the community to be able to see the magic and the passion of what was going on in Venezuela. And what used to be taking months and months of trying to get people on board started to accelerate action. And people and partners started coming to the table. And every time a new person or a milestone uh, happened uh, and a new partner came to the table, we started filming them as well. We allowed the community and all the stakeholders in the community to become part of the story. And what we started to see is the acceleration that happens uh, when you actually bring community stakeholders and influencers and decision makers into the story process, uh, it's just like throwing gas onto a fire. So after filming this for another year and a half, for our own eyes, we got to see truly the Venezuelan music miracle happen to be adopted back in Canada. The social movement was a success. And just let me show you one last clip about what our kids uh, were able to start doing within one year in this life-changing program. Sistema is more than notes on a page, strings on a cello, or keys on a clarinet. It's about reminding society that music is not a luxury item. It's for everyone. It's about working against anything that degrades a child. And it's about encouraging children to embrace new goals and new dreams. In New Brunswick, the Canadian part of the revolution has begun. And now we're in our seventh year of Sistema in New Brunswick. There's over 700 children 
being affected every single day learning classical music for free after school. And these are some of our most needy children in our province. I'm not saying that because we made a film about it, the movement happened, but I am saying because we were able to document key portions of this movement uh, from, uh, from conception to reality, we really were able to be used as a tool of acceleration. And really what it's done for our company is it's allowed us to be able to tell stories that matter, stories that actually have impact in our communities locally and globally. And most important for me, it's really allowed me to create a business that is truly contributing to my vision of a happy and kind world. Thank you very much.